Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Father's Day Card Lab live stream. Usually, we have a Mother's Day and Father's Day uh, Card Lab at to the library, but we couldn't do that this year, so we've gone digital with it. Um, and we're going to get started in a couple of minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of like what I have set up here that you're going to need um, for your lab today. You're going to need paper, um, just whatever kind of paper you want. I've got a bunch of different colors here, and um, I posted these two things. They're templates. Here's a fish. And this is some ties here with, you know, stuff written on it. Um, if you didn't have time to, like, print those out or look at those, we're going to uh, kind of draw them. They, these are just patterns. Um, so, here we go. Um, I've got glue. I've got a glue stick. And I've got, like, a little marker. I have this huge tub of crayons. Oh, I keep... I keep if you see the camera like bounce around like that, it's because I smacked it <laughs> on accident. Um, and then, you know, like I've got all these crayons here. I've got some scissors. Um, for any kids watching, you're going to want safety scissors. Do not use big chop them up scissors like this. <laughs> I also, I have some, um, I have some stamp pads for something we're going to do. But if you have markers, that's going to work fine. You can just color your, your fingertips with some markers because we're going to be making some fingerprints. So, okay, I'm going to give it a little minute in case anybody's wanting to tune in and can't just yet. All right, let's see if we've got a couple people. Hi, Miss Ann. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna start off with our handprint card, everyone. Um, this one's really cute to make. The smaller the child, the cuter it is, because um, little bitty handprints are much cuter than big old long creepy fingered handprints like mine. So <laughs> what we're going to, um, start off with everyone is I'm going to trace my hands on this piece of paper. It's just a blue piece of paper. Um, you can use whatever color you want. So, you know what? I'm going to use a crayon because I'm going to have marker all over my hand if I, if I use a marker. <laughs> all right. Humming is part of the creative process. So you're gonna wanna hum. <laughs> La -da -da -da. All right. And then the other hand, I'm sure that one's gonna look lovely because I am very right-handed. So we'll see if I can manage. So mom, if you wanna trace your little's hands to make these cards, that'll you know, I'm sure that they'll want to at least do one by themselves because tracing hands is really fun. And the kids always love, they always love projects that entail tracing their hands. I don't know why, but wow, that looks awful. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we're going to cut them out. So what you're going to want to do is, and I like to just like cut out like around it and then I can cut out the little fingers because I'm impatient and <laughs> sometimes I cut things out wrong. So I'm gonna cut out the individual fingers. And since I drew them kind of wonky on this hand, I'm just gonna kind of cut around where they were. Make them some finger shapes, you know. But I love, I love doing handprint crafts with kids because over the years, you know, you can kind of see as their hands grow. If you're, if you're a parent that keeps all the little cards and things that they make at school and what have you, it's kind of fun to see where they, uh, where they end up. 
My handprint things that I make now are about the same size as my handprint things that I made about 10 years ago. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> All right, let's see. And we're going to cut out the other hand because we need two. It's very important that you do both hands uh, for this project. Ooh. All right, I'm just going to toss all that paper up there. It can just be, it can go hang out by my, my decorations over there. If you want to see what these decorations look like, they're, they're a uh, Hogwarts dungeon from Harry Potter. Um, and they are featured in the craft time at the end of the Crowley Storytime video. So if you're confused by what the, uh, the lab equipment is in the background, you can go check that out and see the whole thing. All right, we've almost got all our little fingers cut out. And this is the first card we're doing today. We're doing three different cards today. So you'll have a variety, some options. If you have more than one kiddo, um, they can each make a different card for dad. Okay, so. I've got my hands. There they are. Oop. There we are. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out some strips of this green paper right here. A lovely green, of course. And I think I'm going to do two. Yeah, why not? <laughs> two sounds good. Okay. And this is a hug card. I don't know about you guys, but my dad loves hug cards. You know, that like they fold out and it's like a hug. Um, I don't know, he, he loves those. So I usually would get him one, but I haven't seen them lately. So here we are, I'm gonna make one. And just what I did is I stuck some glue on the end of this green paper and I'm just gonna stick it together like that. And I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it sit there and dry for a second. Okay, that's gonna give us. Oh, let me get that little paper off there. Uh, that's gonna give us time to write our message on our hands. Um, so this is gonna be the top hand here, and um, I'm just gonna do Dad. Your the best. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Um, Cause he is. Dads are the best. <laughs> All right. So now that this is kind of dried a little bit, I'm gonna take it and start folding. Yes, we're gonna fold, and we're gonna make like I'm holding it up too high. We're gonna make a kind of like a little accordion. So I just folded a piece over here, and I'm gonna keep folding back and forth, kind of like a fan, sort of. I'm sure you've made a paper fan before where you fold like, an, like a little accordion back and forth and back and forth. Okay. Do, do, do. Be careful of that seam. Unless it's like completely dry, it might want to pop up. Back and forth, folding the paper. All right. Okay. So now we have this. Okay, so there I am bumping my little thing again. Okay, so now what we can do is do our inside message, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so. Okay, so this is about the middle. Oh, watch what I'm doing. 
Okay. There we go. Okay, so I counted to the middle, and I started my love here in the middle. Okay, the direct middle. So then I'm gonna do I. Whoop, you can't see that. <laughs> I'm gonna do uh, I over here. And then that's love, Y, O, U, exclamation point. Okay, so I love you right here in the center. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take the end here. We're gonna put some glue and you see what I'm doing? How I left that last little thing here blank. That's what you wanna make sure that you have one at this end and one at this end um, whoop, that are blank um, because those are gonna be the ends you stick to your hands. So we've got some glue on this one and I'm just gonna stick that down on this hand and I'll fold it all up. Folding, folding, folding. All right, and then I'm gonna stick some glue here. Boop, 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 boop. And put my top hand on. Okay, I'm gonna stick them together. Stick, 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 stick. Make sure they stick. Ta-da, it opens. It's like a little accordion. So I love you in the middle. And then you can put like from and then your child's name. So like this is gonna be from Claire right here. Yeah. Dad's gonna get like 500 Father's Day cards this year. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that is our first card, and it's a it's a hug card. It's a it's a big hug from me to you over here. There we go. Really, really cute. And you can get as creative as you want with it. You can have the kids like color on the hands if they want to like draw like fingernails and stuff. I imagine the little girls will want painted fingernails, some of them. So, you know, they can draw on the back. They can put, you know, stickers and stuff on the inside. It's whatever they want to do, okay? So all those little, those little touches is what makes it their card. And they can use whatever color papers. All right. So now that that card is done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to our fish card. Yes, fish. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of dads that like to fish. My dad is not one of them. <laughs> He says it's too hot. So this fish, doggone it, I keep, come on you. Okay, so this fish right here has been posted to our Facebook page. It is a template that you can use um, if you so desire. If you do not want to use it, then um, we can draw a fish real quick. So basic fish is a football shape. You know, with a fin on top, and a fin on the back, and a fin on the bottom. You gotta give him a smile, and an eye. And an eyebrow usually helps. I always put eyebrows on everything I draw. Oh, we have to do a little fin right there too. I always put eyebrows on everything I draw because they just, I don't know, they feel like they're not as personable when they don't have them. So if you'd like to draw a fish, that is kind of the way that we draw fish, but I'm gonna use this little pre-made fish right here. And what we're gonna do is, if you've got some markers, I have some stamp pads, um, we're going to make some scales. So I'm gonna use this finger because my thumb is kind of wide for, uh, for scales. So I'm gonna take my Purple stamp pad, yeah. You see all that purple? Woohoo! And I'm going to make scales. So, boop, boop, boop. I rub it some more on that stamp pad. Boop, boop. And like I said, I love like things like this where you know kids have to use their hands, and you get their hand shape or their hand print 
or um, you know their stamped fingers and stuff. It's just it makes it really cute because there's nobody else that has their handprint or their finger shape, and dads and moms both really like that. So, and I'm just kind of going going back and forth, doing purple, doing red. Like I said, you can color with like uh, markers and stuff if you don't have any stamp pads. If you do have stamp pads, I recommend using them because they're a little less messy. Okay. So here we go. That purple ink is scented grape and it smells awesome. <laughs> Makes me want candy, but I don't have any candy, so <laughs> I just have to eat some when I get home. Okay, so I'm wiping off as much of the ink as I can. Cool, and now we have a fish, and we can also color our fish. I'm gonna do some purple, you know, just his little fins. Doesn't have to be perfect unless you want it to be. That's what I always tell the kids. It doesn't have to be perfect, unless you want it to be. Then you can try, but if it doesn't turn out perfect, it's okay. All right. Cool, oh, wait. Another fin. And I think his little, what's his face gonna be? His little face. We're gonna do some blue. I think we're gonna do some blue. Blue. Da 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 I like that. That's cute. Okay, so. Now we're gonna cut out our fish. So, just gonna follow the lines. If your kiddo is a little young, you might wanna cut out the fish for them. If they're anything like me, uh, they're going to insist upon cutting the fish out for themselves. So you may wanna print out two fish just in case something goes haywire and they accidentally chop off a fin. <laughs> hmm. You all know what kind of kid I was. <laughs> if you didn't, you do now. <laughs> all right. And if you kind of cut off some of the thumbprints and all that, that is perfectly okay. It's supposed to be scales. So now we will discard that <laughs> and we will make our card. Come on, scissors. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna glue on our fish. So I'm gonna take my fish and I'm gonna put a good Get a glue on his back here. All right. So we've got our fish here. Okay. And now is the time for everyone to groan and say, oh, oh, Claire, really? The, <laughs> the theme of this card is fishing you a happy Father's Day. Yes, that is right. It is a pun card because I needed at least one pun card. Fishing you a happy Father's Day. 
because what is better for dad than a card that actually features a dad joke? So there we go. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw some little like, okay, where's my light? There it is. I'm gonna draw like some little bubbles. You don't have to, but once again, if you want to, you can. And you have some little bubbles here. Little bubble there. All right. And then on the inside, you can, you know, write like, you know, we love you, happy Father's Day. Um, or just, you know, like, love, and then your name, so love, Claire. So there we go. There is card number two. Isn't it cute? I love this. This is great. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's time for my favorite card. My favorite card in the whole world is next. Okay, so this is my favorite card because the smaller your child is, the better this card is going to be. Because this card entails you asking the child questions and they have to answer them. You put down what they say. So <laughs> depending on how old your kid is and their uh, understanding of things like what their dad does for a living or um, what makes their dad laugh. Um, that, um, that's going to determine the, uh, the cuteness level of the card. And usually I, I find that like the little bitty kids, they have, their answers are just so good. Now, I, I also put up this template here um, that you can print out. It's on our My goodness. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we had a malfunction, and that malfunction was that someone called my phone in the middle of my live stream, and it was a spam caller, and I'm very mad about it. <laughs> okay, so getting back to my beautiful cards right here. Um, so what we're going to do is there's two, um, there's two ties per sheet. I'm just going to go ahead and cut out one. Uh, if you have multiple children, this has you in mind. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of... And like I said, this is available on our Facebook page. I'm just going to toss that other one aside to the, to the aside pile with all the other little reject papers there. All of the paper that I don't use, little scraps and things, get recycled because I love Earth. So, you know, don't get upset. They're, they're gonna be used. Um, but anyway, so I'm just gonna cut this out. Boop. All right. Ta-da, here's our tie. So, like I said, the smaller your child is, the better this card is. You know, my dad's job is, what is my dad's job? <laughs> don't even I don't even really he works at a bank um, I'm just gonna put a uh, bank right there okay um, my favorite thing to do with my dad you might enjoy um, you know fishing with your dad uh, you know grilling with your dad you know different things um, I watch TV um, and and yell at the TV with my dad that's my that's my uh, <laughs> that's what I do um, my dad's superpower um, he is good at fixing things. I definitely have the handwriting of a child, so this is this is very like yeah. This is this looks really really um really good here. Um, I love my dad more than cheese. Anyone that knows me knows that that is a huge compliment. Okay, my dad always laughs when. <laughs> Hmm, what does my dad laugh at? Pretty well everything. Um, when we watch a funny TV show. Or when the, when the dog does something silly. Dad laughs at that. Um, I love my dad because he's awesome. There we go. All right, cool. Now, 
Your answers are definitely gonna be different from mine. Everyone's answers are gonna be different from each other's because that's how that works. And it's pretty cool. Um, if you have, like I said, multiple children, it's neat to see the difference in answers. I hope that this doesn't start any arguments <laughs> because I never know. So what I've done is I've just folded another piece of paper in half and what we're gonna do, everyone, is we're gonna draw the collar of ye old dad's shirt here because this is a shirt card, ooh. So we're gonna draw a collar I'm just gonna draw a line here and I'm gonna draw some buttons. Those are my those are my child buttons. <laughs> no, that's that's how I figure a kid might draw some buttons. Um, and then you can either you can either glue it like up here like it's a tie, or you can glue the whole thing. Um, oh yeah, uh, and also they can color this, so I'm ju I'm just not I'm not going to. We're going to have a white tie today, me, me and dad. I've, I've seen my dad wear a tie like four times in my whole life, so <laughs> I don't know how I would color it, but here we are. So put on dad's tie, and look, we have you know, a little tie, a little shirt. Oh, how cute. And if you open it up, you can write your your message your you know i'm not gonna use th that's running out of ink <sighs> using up all my ink over here um let me use a crayon happy father's day i wish i wouldn't have like bought him a card I, I, did i buy him a card i don't know because these are better these are better than bought cards let's see from all right. Okay, cool. Um, so that is card number three, everybody. So we have all three of our totally awesome cards. We have our tie card right here. We've got our fish card, fishing you a happy father's. I don't, I, I love puns too much. I'm that person. Um, and then our hug card. He's gonna like this one. I I think this is gonna be his favorite. I'm gonna have to update you guys on which one he liked the most. Um, so there you have it. Those are all three of your cute cards that you can make for Father's Day. I apologize for the horrendous um, call that interrupted our live stream from Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> I, I know no people from there. So, um, but anywho, uh, here are all the cards, and I hope you guys have fun making uh, all of these wonderful Father's Day cards. If you want to make one, if you want to make all three, just make your dad all the cards. All of the cards. I, he just needs to be swimming in cards, <laughs> right? <laughs> Anywho, I hope you had fun. I had fun, and I will see you during our next live stream. Bye for now, everyone. If I can get my phone out. Whoop. You'll just get to look at my hand for a little while. <laughs>